I'm not going to hijack your rally, I just literally wanted to come and say that um, I recognise in Saudi, buses in South Yorkshire are broken. They are broken. The system is broken. The way in which buses work are broken in South Yorkshire. And the reason that they're broken is because of 30 years of deregulation. And we all know that. Um, and so what we're trying to do is fight for this government to give us um, £205 million to invest in our buses and bus services in South Yorkshire in the immediate term. Now apparently we should, we have been told there is now £36 billion available um, for Northern Transport so I'm hopeful that some of that money is going to find its way to South Yorkshire. Um, in the immediate term that means that we could save services, we could put services back into those communities that have lost them, that have been deprived of a reliable, efficient and effective bus network which is an investment in our communities, an investment in the future of young people, an investment in our households, an investment in health. Um, it is not just a cost, it is an investment. And uh, I, I'm determined to fight the government for that money. At longer term, we are absolutely working as fast as we can, as hard as we can towards the process of franchising. We are determined to get through that process as quickly as we can. Um, that is a process set down in the law by the government and we are determined to get through that quickly because we need to make a fundamental change about how buses operate in South Yorkshire, how public transport operates in South Yorkshire. We are bringing the tram back under public control in March of next year and that will be the first step towards a more integrated public transport system. one with active travel at its heart as well. So I am determined to make that change. We are doing it as quickly as we can. We're investing in terms of time, in terms of people, in terms of money to get through that process. Um, and the franchising assessment decision, we should be able to take that next year. So I'm determined to make sure that we work as hard as we can. We're going quicker than anybody else. I was with Andy Burnham just the other day. He's done it in seven years. We're trying to do that in three years. So we're doing it as quickly as we possibly can. We're going to work as hard as we can. But more fundamentally, I recognise entirely the buses in South Yorkshire are broken. Please do tell your friends, your family about the public meetings that we're running right across South Yorkshire. It's really important that people understand why we're in the hole that we're in, what's going on um, with buses in South Yorkshire and public transport more broadly. Um, and let's keep up the fight to try and improve public transport, not just for um, our communities, but right across the country. Thank you very much.